In this Photoshop tutorial, we're going to be using layers to do frames. And so let's open up Photoshop. And what I did was I created a folder here with different images from India. I chose India. And I want to choose a good background, so We'll open up the uh, the JPEG and drag that to Photoshop. And there's our background. And let's see, that's a pretty good size for now. So let's take these other screenshots and open them up. In Photoshop. So for each of these, I want to be able to fit those in small frames. So I want to make them the, the same size. So let's see what size this one is. This is, if we make it 72 pixels. Make that seven inches. So let's make this roughly six inches. Seventy two, six inches. Okay, so we can drag these down here. There's one. There's two. And three. By just dragging the layer onto there. And that will stack them all one on top of the other. But they're all the same width. And we can pull these around. We may notice that the heights are a little bit different. And so this one here doesn't seem to be as long as the other two. So we can take this one and put it on top of the other two. So now we'll select our top layer to make sure they're all the same size, take our magic wand and click outside of that top layer. That way we can cut these other two layers to the right size. Notice I click on this layer underneath and I can hit delete and I'll click on that layer and I'll hit delete. And then I'll go select, deselect, and now all of our pictures are exactly the same size. Click on the layer to move them, and there we go. My problem with this is, is that they're not really standing out. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a frame around all of each of these layers. So let's choose an arbitrary one. Let's just choose 
this one here, the tiger. And for our frame, we can choose this pattern here. And we'll put that on top of, let's open it up in Photoshop. I don't know what that size that is. Make it roughly nine. So now we can take it, put it here, and let's drag it here. And now what we can do, drag it underneath our picture. And let's say I'm going to frame. So here's our tiger picture. Let's have the layer selected. So really, that's the only layer that we're going to be dealing with now. And if we click our magic wand, we can select everything but the tiger on that layer. So let's inverse it. Now we've got the tiger selected. And we can go select. And we can modify and expand. And we can try 15 here. And so now we have the outside selected. We can select inverse again and then we hit the deselect or the delete key with our frame selected so delete and now that's selected deleted everything outside of the uh, frame area now if we want to click again on our tiger and Select that. Now we're going to select inverse again. And we click oops, on our frame again. Deselect. Now what we've got, deselect, is our frame selected. We can take our frame, with our frame selected, go to Layer, Layer Style, Bubble and Emboss, and that will give us this look. Do drop Shadow. So now we have our frame, and now it stands out more. We could do that for every single one of our pictures, but wouldn't it be just easier to take this, duplicate it? Now we've got our layer duplicated. We can take our picture, and there we go. So this happens to be this one. We can deselect everything else. And now we can merge visible with those two layers. Back to that one. And we have to select one of the mergeable layers, and we can merge layers again. And now we have to oh. 
we should have actually made two before we did that. Let's make another one and duplicate layer. There we go. Now we have an extra layer. So now we can merge visible. Now we have two. We need one more. And one more is visible. Now we have three separate ones. And we can move those around any place we want. And let's choose some sort of font we like. can also take our same font here and we can do a stroke try to drop shadow and that's it it's that easy. Remember to change it back to the right size. Export it as a JPEG and put it in your upload folder.